Okay, the situation is batteries and the inverter and the charge controller are outside. Okay. So, which means anytime I want power, I have to come out here, turn on the switch, and then the inverter comes on and I got power inside. And then I have to remember to come back out here and turn it off because there's a lot of things plugged in that use power, um, chargers and so on. So anytime the inverter's on, I'm basically wasting power in addition to whatever I'm using. Now this inverter and a lot of them actually have a port called remote. That's a standard four pin phone wire, RJ11. You can buy a remote switch that I don't know, five dollars, fifteen dollars, something like that. But I got to thinking about it. It's like, well, it's a standard RJ11, so I should be able to figure this out. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, the idea is is that basically it should turn on the inverter from the other end of the switch instead of coming out here. The other option that I considered, which was a lot more complicated actually, is putting a solenoid off of the main wire here that basically you'd leave the inverter on and then the solenoid is an electrically operated switch that you disengage and then the current doesn't flow through it and then when you connect it it re-engages all right so that's an option however for continuous duty something that can handle this one was 1500 watts uh, it was a pretty expensive solenoid or you get into kind of um what you'd use on an electric car called a contactor, which does basically the same thing. It's your main disconnect from the batteries to the motor and the motor controller. And that was a couple of $300, something goofy like that. That's more than I spent on the inverter. So I thought, let me try this way first. All right. I have in the past made phone wires. I used to have the tool to crimp these. But for this, I just bought a phone wire. And of course, the local hardware, actually, I didn't look at the hardware store. Walmart no longer has phone wires because nobody uses phone wires. So I bought a 25-foot phone cable. Ignore this, that's for a different project. So I chopped it off, brand new phone cable, chop it off, stripped it down, and you got four wires inside. Now, typically, the first pair is the center two and then the second pair is the outer two. So I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but the center two are red green and the outer two are black yellow. So what I've done is I've stripped the ends. So I'm gonna do red green first. So what I'm gonna do just to make it easy on myself, I'll bend these ones back and make sure they aren't touching. And then I'm gonna plug this in with the inverter shut off and then touch the green to the red and see if the inverter turns on. This is a remote connection as far as it's not, the, you know, the power isn't running through this. This is just turning on the switch. All right, so we'll take the tripod over there and we'll get this set up so that we can see it all happen together. It'll either work or it doesn't kind of thing. I don't expect any fires. You never know. It's convenient that I have my propane and my gas can's all sitting right next to this, so if it goes, it'll be interesting. All right, I will leave the camera in a safe spot. I don't know if safe is a good word or not, but. All right, so that, you should be able to see the, the thing turn on anyway. So right now, none of the wires are touching and we're gonna do red to green, all right? I got them all separated. Put this thing in. And then we'll go red green and see what happens. Nothing. Okay, and we'll do the second pair, which is black yellow. Touch them. Nothing. Okay. Just to cover our bases, we'll do Green, black, nope, green, black, green, yellow, hey, look at that, they 
mess with this. So green yellow is the pair. That's not what I would have expected. That's it. Okay, green yellow. So I'm going to twist them together so I remember because I didn't bring anything to write it down with. Okay, so that's working. Now if we disconnect this, it should shut off again. Nice. That means I don't have to use the switch. Okay, so that's good. I cut this end purposely short, which left me about 22 feet for the other end. Cool. Now I know which way this works. Alright. So yellow green. So from the edge of this, yellow is the outside, green is the second one. Never would have thought that. Good to know though. So what that means is don't try to do this with a two pin wire because there is two pin wires, it won't work. You need a four pin wire. All right. All right, as these things go, green yellow isn't working on this end for some reason. Yeah. So let's smoke around here a little bit and I'll be able to see when the inverter comes on. Because power will start working in here. Green yellow doesn't work. What the hell? So I'm going to try the other two pair. Just to see if possibly this wire got wired backwards is a possibility. You wouldn't expect it, but normally the phone wouldn't care as long as because it goes by by which pairs go together, right? So as long as the red and the green are a pair, and the yellow and the black typically are a pair. So I'm going to get those two separated. My point is you may have to fiddle with this. It may not just work like you think it would. So I'll strip the other two. Now we're doing red black together. Oh, and it's not Red and black on this end. Heh! I was just trying to remember, did I actually leave it plugged in out there? So, red and black. Anyway, it's not what it should be, is my point. It should be first pair, second pair, and it's not. So I'm going to tape these off. That beep was the microwave coming to life. So that I don't get them confused. And right now it works. So now that it works, I will go grab a switch and solder these leads onto the switch. Now I don't have to go out in the rain just to turn on or turn off the inverter. Because that's the thing, I mean, a close-up shot of the the red and the black which is not the ones because here's the pigtail from that I tested with out there and red and black are not the ones that I connected and that's green and yellow that worked on the other one and this one they wired them wrong differently not necessarily wrong just differently so one pair versus the other pair okay and that blue light is coming off of my power adapter for the laptop so i know i've got power working okay so i'm going to stop the camera disconnect this make my solder connection and then we'll be done and then i'll mount the switch somewhere cool all right that switch is the one. This is left over from another project, typical, but I had the bracket was already set up with holes in it, so that made it convenient. 
little tiny switch. Not the best switch I had probably, but it works. Let me see if I can't fix this a little better. I'm shooting right against the light, man. All right, this little switch here, the end one is the one. Listen for the beep. There it is. Cool. That's left over from an LED strip lighting project. So I happened to have it. It had the bracket already set up. Underneath, yeah, kind of sketchy. Wires just running into the rest of the bundle. Good enough.